Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's day two. We arrived at Broxar village along with the entire team. Immediately upon our arrival, we met with the villagers, um, elders, and we began our work as this was also the last day for us at Broxar in Lubrang. It's the most traditional house that I've seen. I'll just give a tour of the house. It's a traditional brokpa, but it's just the way she has organized and decorated. It's actually very beautiful. We had a meeting in that house, and this is the house we were just invited for the tea. And one of our uh, friend, she had stayed here. This, this was, this is her uh, hostess house. So that's the entry. The main door. And as we enter, this is the fireplace. As usual, everybody has the same fireplace and the chimney. And all the utensils, the bed. There's a, another room. That's the bedroom. They have a plastic covering on the rooftop. The house. So this Amma was, uh, she was making some sort of carpet. This is her work area. This house has... Uh, one more floor. It's a traditional house. So I'm going to climb the stairs and show you. They have a, temp a small shrine temple. This is a small shrine area. So that's the stairs. So now we're going out, all of us, to have a community lunch at other hostess house. This is an old retired Brokpa dog. He's 14 year old. So back in his days, he used to travel with his owner all over. Now he's too old. So he just sits here all day and guards this cute little house. That's the Amma. She already had a lunch. I invited her for lunch, but she refused. Those are the shepherd dogs. So everyone, all the villagers are all the villagers are invited for the lunch. So we'll be having lunch in that that tiny little house that you see. <laughs> This is our, we are having a small picnic, so this is cabbage salad, <laughs> some rice, fry pepper, dal, this is churpi or butter, and chicken curry. Jingmi. Kostuna. So we just had our lunch uh, with the community. 
It was a very delicious lunch. We had chicken, we had uh, rice, some dal, and I had a visit at the temple there. And today we visited uh, this Boxar village and met with the elderly population. As you must be very well aware that elderly population today constitute half of the population, but it's one of the most vulnerable sections in the country. So one part of the study project was also to understand, have a very comprehensive view of the elderly population within the nomadic tribes. Because in general, when we talk about nomadic tribes, it, it anyways uh, has a very uh, difficult uh, living standard. And then I can only imagine what the elderly population in this village must be facing. So we had a talk with them. We tried to understand their problem. We also uh, had a very great insight into their life. And most of the elderly are uh, from a very different generation. So it, it was quite... Uh, educative as well. It was quite uh, you know, informative to meet with this older generation, listen to their stories, their adventures and their insights and their views on the today's generation. So uh, right now, um, I actually work for this organization called Arunachal Rural Livelihood Mission uh, under National Rural Livelihood Mission and one of our objectives is to bring these vulnerable groups under a social institutional platform like self-help group. So we'll try to form a self-help group with the elderly population here. And today we will be having one group as a target. So after this, uh, after the lunch, we have 15 minutes as a half an hour, 15 minutes as a rest time. And then we'll start forming the self-help group, take the verification, all the data, all the uh, certificates and everything. And from there, we'll go, we'll move back to Dirang for our next destination, which would be Nagadiji. A group formation. <laughs> Followed by a pledge to work for the community, to work for the group. <laughs> This was a proud moment for all of us, our first nomadic SCG in the country. So a small photo session with the team and the group members. This self-help group will be supported by National Rural Livelihood Mission under Ministry of Rural Development, Government of India. Usually what happens is immediately after the formation of the self-help group, we link the group to the nearest bank. And post the formation, all the members, especially the, the main members or the educated members, slightly functional literacy educated members would be given training in credit, saving management, etc. The platform for SAG, as in many people might wonder, why self-help group? Why don't we directly give access to all the benefits to these people? The thing is, this self-help group as a platform, it's not only to confer wider government entitlements and benefits for the community, but also as a community platform for the better convergence and active participation in the village affairs and government line department. This is a small shot I took during my previous visit of Lubrang in the spring. So that's it from Lebrang. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in my next destination, that is Nagatiji. Till then, take care. Bye.